the National Aeronautical Space Agency of the United States is saying that after analyzing the data on the Chandran 1 spacecraft and the probes that it was carrying, it has provided evidence for the presence of ice deposits near the moon's North Pole. This is the first time that confirmation has come of the presence of ice and water on the surface of the moon. The data shows more than 40 small craters with subsurface water ice located at their base. The interior of these craters in permanent sun shadow. Results from the Chandrayaan mapping showed deposits having radar characteristics similar to ice. The emerging picture indicates that water creation and retention is occurring on the surface of the moon. Well, space historian David Wright now joins us on the phone line for more on this story. Mr. Wright, uh, how do you look at this uh, discovery made uh, by this particular spacecraft that was put up uh, into space uh, to do a rendezvous with the moon by India? Well, I think it's very significant. Uh, it's a very significant scientific and technical achievement. It shows that the Indian Space Agency is, if I may say so, coming of age and playing with the big boys. And it also changes our understanding of the moon, and it opens up possibilities for the exploration and perhaps even colonization of the moon in the future, if there is that amount of ice there. Uh, what are the implications in the short run? Is this uh, a development that will allow mankind to harvest this water, or is it uh, only... Uh, critical scientifically ready? I think it's both. Um, it changes our understanding of the moon and there are competing theories as to how this water has got there. Um, it was certainly assumed that it wasn't there until um, this discovery. Um, in terms of harvesting it, obviously for uh, prolonged stays on the moon, um, the possibility of using water that is already on the moon rather than carrying it on very expensive rockets does begin to change the economics of um, exploring the moon and perhaps even staying there. So very significant indeed. Uh, and, and lastly, Mr. Wright, uh, any indications whether these areas where this ice has been located on the surface of the moon could also perhaps be habitable for life? Well, I think that uh, we all know that the the one requirement that is absolutely essential for human life is water and plenty of it. So I think the, the discovery of water in these kind of quantities um, really is a major change in un our understanding of what we could do on the moon.